Welcome, my friends. My name is Aaron Draplaw. Aaron Draplaw, welcome to my Skillshare course. In this course, I'm going to be teaching you how to redesign Olympic logo. No, if you were here yesterday, you saw that we ranked 13, 14, some number above 10 of the last Summer Olympic. And uh, some of them reached attained curling status. And I'm doing the for worst five, which are these unfortunate souls. No, nah, some of them are pretty good. I, I kind of want to talk to the people who made these so I can get some insight into the times. But here we are. We found ourselves in Barcelona. So uh, let's see what I would change to it. First off, there's one immediate thing we can do. So we got rid of those gray boxes, kablam. At the time, possibly, somebody was thinking, oh, it might help it stand out against the white more if there's a drop shadow. Doesn't work like that, especially if you have a light gray. Why? You have the light gray and then you have the white, so it like fades into the background more, actually. Okay, and then these colors are a little bit weak. They could have just grabbed the colors from the rings. You know what? That's okay. Maybe now I know why they didn't do it. Thank you, orange. We're gonna inject that orange a little bit. Okay, now we have kind of a fun thing. We need a little bit more space between things here. The Olympic rings can be much smaller. We're talking about hierarchy now. We probably know it's part of the Olympics, so the Olymp rings don't have to be so big. And the only thing I wanna check out now is, let's see about angling the icon or rotating it so it feels more like we're jumping over something. Go back to the original. The original is fine, I guess. The only other thing I wanna check is like, I wonder why they made it texturized like this. I don't really wanna change it if it's meant to be that way. Okay, Barcelona, those are the changes I would make for your much time past Olympic events. <laughs> I think if we remove the light gray shadow, it'll make it feel a lot more cleaner. And then if we up the, just the amount of saturation, bring them more to the purest form of the color that they are. But overall, I think it's a good logo. I didn't make much adjustment. The only other thing I wanted to do was to add a little bit more space between uh, the Barcelona and the Olympic rings, and then give it a little bit of hierarchy where we make the Olympic rings a little bit smaller. So those are the changes I would suggest for you past event. All right, design champions, vote in the poll right now, whether we Barcelona'd it or whether we Real madrid it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Thank you very much. Four years into the future now, we're in Atlanta, Georgia. That's the state if you didn't know. First, I just want to get rid of this green background so I can see what's going on. Okay, immediately much, much better because you can make out all of the different shapes more nicely. Second thing I might do is to remove one of these stars because there's a lot and I don't think we need them. I think I'll get rid of this one. You see how this fire curve doesn't align with the curve of the next star? I don't know why they would do that. Just rotate it so it looks like it's you know, follows the same curve. I don't know, that's nice to me. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see any reason why that gold star has to be in the middle. I'm just gonna test the design waters here with my big toe, maybe my pinky toe. I mean, that's just a lot more impactful, I guess you'd say. Okay, this column is pretty cool, which is really cool. I ain't gonna lie about it. I think it's a really clever idea. Good job, Atlanta 9096. Uh, one thing I do wanna do is up it a little bit though. Do we need the rings? Let's see, because right now we have a very tall logo. Okay, we've simplified it a lot. Have we simplified it too much? Maybe we'll bring back in the Olympic rings down here. If the column doesn't have the Olympic rings, we can make this 100 thing a lot more clear. It's almost like we're having to choose where we want the emphasis. Because this, I feel like the 100 is kind of an afternote. And here, the 100 is very obvious. It's not anywhere as clever for the column making it up this way. But I do think this actually represents the 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 torch that people bring in a lot more because I think it is a lot more simple usually. I don't know, man. I'm not an Olympic professional. All right, Atlanta, Georgia. Those are the changes I would suggest for your logo. I think if we just remove one of the stars, we can basically still have the exact same form and it's just a little bit more simplified. If we remove the green background, then everything will be a little bit more punchy. If we remove some of the colors, I wanted to keep the green so we still keep a little bit of variety and something that shouts out to, to Georgia, I guess. I did move the rings because I wanted to prioritize the idea of 100 over like the column itself. I think in the new version, we still get the column or the torch, but we, we prioritize the idea of it being 100, which is actually very interesting. Those are the changes I would suggest for your beautiful event that you're running in 1996. I, I hope I can make it. Tell me in the comments below, what was your favorite event to watch when you were at the 96 Olympics? 
Thank you so much. Next up, we have Paris 2024. Apparently, we're doing this historically out of order. All right, Paris. Really great layout and placement of... See, see, they kind of get it as to, like, the hierarchy. You can make the Olympic logo smaller, make the text a lot bigger, and then get some space. A lot of these logos from past events, they put the logo, like, right up against the Olympic rings. I don't know why they did that, but maybe they like each other. So I'm really only going to work on the icon. I think if we're going to go for like a feminine power French woman ideal, I don't think it should be an afterthought because right now it seems like they made a torch design and then they were like, oh, but guess what? It could be a woman as well. But actually, interesting fact, there are two ways to see this icon. I just now saw the other one. First way is that this is like a flame, right? Or the other way is to see it is this is the woman's head. But now since this is my project, I will do what I want. I am going to make a woman's face. I'm gonna try to draw it. I'm not very good at drawing. I'm terrible at drawing. I'm terrible at drawing people's faces. All right, forehead. Y'all are gonna think this is crazy. It's okay, you can definitely think that. I think it is crazy. Okay, sure. <laughs> I think we'll get there with a little bit of fan dangling later. I'm gonna make a closed eye. Ooh, that's kind of, okay, now you can see it, guys. Okay, and then she's got some heavy mascara, eye brazil. You can see what I'm trying to do. Okay, the only thing that needs help is this nose here. I mean, that's not the only thing that needs help, but uh, that's the one we're gonna try to fix right now. Yeah, okay. This is the biggest bottom lip I've ever seen in my life. Hey, it's gonna look okay, I think, maybe. Okay, let me mess with this lady for a second, see if I can get... <laughs> Give her a regular human looking face. There we go. See, now it looks like she could be an athlete doing something and her hair is in movement, etc. That kind of a thing. Hello, Paris 2024. These are the changes I would suggest. I think if you're gonna try to go for like a feminine form, I think go for it. Why not? If I was like a really good illustrator and I was able to capture like the nuances of people's faces and stuff, I would definitely recommend trying to make someone who looks French. You could add a little bit of stylization to make her look like she might be from the 1920s or 30s because that's in line with the whole art deco idea that you're going with. I think it'll be a lot more powerful. I think it'll be cool, but that is just my opinion. All right, designers, vote now in the poll whether we parried it or whether we made it worse. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, next up, we have the Olympics in 1984. First off, I'm gonna work with this. I don't have that much time for this one. So first off, we need to just adjust some of the spacing here. For my purposes, we're getting rid of the copywriting. Since we already have like the Olympic games thing down below, I think we can just keep this part. Give it all a little bit more room to breathe. Yes, there we go. I am going to recreate these stars, but I want less lines. And then I only want like a red and blue one maybe. I think that'll make it more simple. So let's do it. This will take me a long time to figure out how they did like two, three levels. So I'm just gonna skip forward guys. Blah, blah. So I have this star, similar idea. I tried also making the white go all the way through the star, but I thought the star kind of breaks down because I have significantly fewer lines going through. So I think that's cool. I'm gonna make another one that will be red behind it like that. Ooh, hmm, okay. Let's make it align to the corner so that the star of the corner hits that corner. Yeah, like that. Hmm, okay. Should I make this go all the way? The white star in the middle definitely helps separate the red and the blue there. I wonder, is there like a more clear way to do this or not? Really is crazy the more I think about it. Cause mine is like totally reduced and it still looks like a lot going on. Okay, we're leaving it like that. Just set it and forget it. Okay, I am not 100% satisfied. Los Angeles, 1984. If I had more time, I would definitely play with the lines a little bit more. I think we have increased clarity overall though. I think the font, we don't need all that stuff. We just uh, bring in some hierarchy. And then um, I have reduced the number of lines significantly. I think it's good. The only reason why this one looks okay right now is because we're like super zoomed in. Well, maybe not. I don't know. I'm really not necessarily digging the new one because it's just so complicated. All right, design champos. Those are my changes. I don't know. I don't think it's that. I think it's better, but I don't think it's there yet. We have a little bit too much complication going on. So let me know whether we Los Angeles did it or whether we lost Angeles did it.
Thank you. Okay, here we are at the fourth and fifth design. I think we should move this London out. Kablamski, make it big. Okay, and then we should also move the Olympics. I'm gonna keep to like the same thing I've been doing for everybody. I can select all of it and go shift M and click the middle things to make shapes in the middle like that. Real fast, sick beans, dude. I wanna make this a little bit more 2012. And I want them to all have the same base, so we just have a, a little bit of some semblance of, you know, understanding things in, in space. I don't see anybody ever doing this, so maybe there's a reason they don't do this. This would have been cool, though. It's a little bit childish, I guess. I think their magenta they use for the actual thing is really cool, so I'm gonna try to find that. Yes, sir. I really like the London font. Most of these design companies who've been doing these make a really cool font for it, and the icon is kind of crazy. What do you think? I don't know. Wait, these have to switch. There you go. That feels a lot better, too. No place like London. Okay, London 2012. Thank you for sending this to me. <laughs> so the original logo, I don't know. I don't think it's that bad. I just don't understand it very much. If you want, like, a... I feel like they wanted, they couldn't come up with an icon, so they went with 2012, but then they didn't want to just put like 2012, so then they got a little crazy with it, and they tried to make like a thing. I, I think it's kind of, it's provocative, which is cool. Um, if we were gonna tone it down a little bit, I would just make it 2012, lay it out on a flat thing, so it's a little bit more obvious for people what it is. And the London font is really good. I think we should celebrate that font a little bit more. That's why I made it bigger. And then I've uh, I've just simplified the whole thing. Those are the changes I would make, but honestly, I'm not too convinced that the idea here is too much to work with because at the end of the day, it really is just the, the year of the Olympics. But yeah, that's definitely a direction I would try. Okay, designers, let me know in the poll right now whether we lawned on it or whether we lawned Offed it. Thank you. I have been your host. What was my name? Aaron Draplov. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you later, alligator. Bye, guys.